Jenny and I would hang out back here a lot. I would draw. She'd give me ideas. Uh, Sir James, uh, Sir James mentioned you, you, you had a way with the papers. Jenny said, she said she wanted to go to art school with me, but I thought she was just kidding. She just wanted to draw. Always told me I had a gift for it and should keep at it. Was obsessed with rainbows and colors. She told me to draw her. She'd be my muse, she said. She told me to draw her back here, flying through the forest with the trees. Trees and leaves made of rainbows, different colors, like another world. Another reality? Uh, what? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I guess. In an alternate reality, uh... You know, in an alternate world, uh, Jenny could still be alive. Uh, uh, you know, the 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 the, the colors she needs could still be alive. Uh, uh, brothers, sisters, uh, the Wonderland stuff. Uh, the, the the old buildings could be new again. Troll is determined to find the Lincoln kid. The problem is he wants to do it all by himself. He's determined. He won't take no for an answer, and I don't think it's such a good idea. But he seems to think it'll be redeeming or something. Troll, he's been leaving me notes. I guess he was inspired by my snowflakes and Rebecca. Him and his sister do it so they can continue to communicate secretly. I guess he wants to keep everything under the radar. I keep telling him that we can meet in public, people aren't going to get suspicious, but he thinks it's best if we communicate via the notes. We do still meet in person, we're actually going to meet next week, but this note leaving is just strange. Troll has these theories about the Lincoln kid that I think he got from Rose. He thinks it might be related to an accident a while ago on Lincoln Avenue. Either it was the guy who hit the kid, or it's the kid himself, or one of the kid's friends, or someone who witnessed the incident. And somehow that moment in time inspired this person to do what he's doing today. Since me and Troll cleaned up the parks a while back, the town has started to put some money into them put in playground equipment and making sure the grass is always mowed. It's nice that they're doing their job. Got some quality wood chips. Joel's been talking a lot about the Hot Air Balloon Festival. Him and his sister and his aunt used to go there years ago. And I guess him and his sister have been talking about it lately through the notes. I used to go to it too with Rebecca years and years ago. It wasn't at this year's, but maybe next year's. When Troll and me were cleaning up the parks, he would talk a lot about hot air balloons. And now he had this dream that him, his sister, his aunt, and his niece would get into one of those baskets, turn on the hot air, and fly away into another life. I went fishing the other day. I caught me a six pound bass. Small mouth or big mouth? Small mouth. Yeah, I caught I caught six six little panfish uh, the other morning. That was my breakfast. Caught them out of the creek. I don't eat fish. I just catch and release. So, uh, you don't mind me asking, what's what's up with that stash? 
I don't know, I was shaving and I thought, why not? Well, you sure you're not going for like a Burt Reynolds or like an honest man's Tom Selleck? Maybe. Oh, it, it's bitchin' looking. The meet and troll here in the boomerang. I'm trying to convince him that he should let me help him find the Lincoln kid, but he wants to do it himself. And I guess I'm just gonna have to let him. Listen, I don't want you to take this the wrong way, but I think this is just something I gotta do by myself tonight. It's been a while since I've been out in shit city by myself. But I, I got some intel on this Lincoln kid. I've been fighting my own demons, I think I can find one, one more. Okay. If you think you gotta do this on your own, I understand. It, it's just something I gotta do. I saw Kyle the other day. He's buying Dragon's mom's house. He also told me about this stash of dragons he found and there was this radio in it. He told me to come by and check it out. So I'm gonna stop by the house sometime this week. It's gonna be weird being there again, especially without Dragon. Oh look, it, it's oxidizing. Hey wait, isn't that that Joseph fella you know? Yeah. How's that boy doing? Not well. Can't believe it's already August. The summer just flew by. I wish the winter went by this quickly. You ever see a blood moon before in August? Some some people call it a uh, super moon. Some some folks call it a harvest moon. No, I can't say that I have. August moon, where are you? And the days are getting shorter. But that also means the nights are getting longer. You see that tower up there shimmering like an oasis in the desert? That's Shiloh Tower. That's, that's kind of the beginning of where uh, Shit City starts. That's where I scored my first bag when I was 12. Getting mine. Good lord, those clouds are trying to swallow the sun. I gotta, I gotta find that Lincoln Kid character. And then I gotta face some booze demons. And if I can do all that, then then I know I'm ready to you know be with them, and I, I can I can see April. I understand. Yeah, you know me and Tanya, you know we leave each other notes, you know, you know reminiscing about stuff, just talking, making sure we're both still alive, I guess. Where shit city pretty much begins. Doesn't want me to follow him. I think he's contemplating his plan. Well, I must depart, you kind folks. Now you may not see me from a while, but I must depart away like a thief into the night. Darkness prevails. I got a plan. I think I know how to find this Lincoln kid. I just got to stick to it. Follow it through for once. Hopefully the old habits won't come out. Can't revert back to that. It's like the two sides of a coin. What do you think? What was that what was that poet's name, Robert Blake, about everything was about duality? I'm not a poetry guy. This is that second hand store where Gary and Mole sell a lot of their shit. Gary and Mole haven't been around for a while. You don't have to do this alone. It'll be easier if we do it together. Listen, I'm sorry, but I think you're wrong this one time. It does have to be me, and I do have to do it by myself. I have some feelers out, and I think I got a handle on this Lincoln kid. All right? You're just going to have to trust me this one time. Start a fire. You can't start a fire without a spark. This comes for iron. 
even if we're just dancing in the dark. Da, 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 da. Joel told me he escorted Rebecca home one day, and as a thank you, she made a sketch of him and his sister and his niece at the ocean. He said, James, you've got a good girl in Rebecca. Don't give up on her just yet. Troll might be using some illicit and or illegal means to find the Lincoln kid. So he doesn't want it on camera, I can only assume. Sir James, I am fresh on the trail of the Lincoln kid. It will not be long now before I find him. I left you something by the creek at a place where you once gave me food. It is for my niece, April. It is Trapjaw, the only Masters of the Universe action figure I still have. The one I refused to sell because I knew it would always be for her. If I cannot, I need you to give it to her for me. And when you do, I need you to tell her this. She has the power. Hello, my friends. It's Ryan Skinner. Thank you so much for watching this episode of The Falls Chronicles. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, episode 17 of The Falls Chronicles will be coming at you in late September. Um, so The Falls Chronicles will continue to roll and drop once a month well into the future. However, before that, before episode 17 hits in late September, in mid-September, basically early September, September 9th, we will be doing Falls Fest number 2. Um, it's going to be an all-week-long event um, hosted by you, the people, I guess, and the actors, and a lot of the people that help make the show, the actors, some of the editors, um, people that helped out behind-the-scenes stuff. Last year, we did kind of an all-weekend-long event with Hayes. It was hosted by Hayes, and we had other people pop in. Um, this year, it's going to be all week long, so a, uh, an entire week of fun live stuff on our Facebook page, our Twitch, our YouTube. Um, we'll be doing Periscopes on our Twitter. Our Instagram, our Patreon, it, it'll be loaded with a bunch of fun stuff we'll be putting up. And a lot of it will be live, interactive stuff you can do with us. And again, the best way to uh, to know when stuff is going on or when there's going to be uh, something dropping new, the, one of the best ways to keep up to date with everything happening in general inside the Falls Universe, but especially during that week for Falls Fest, is Facebook. Facebook.com slash the Falls Series. Um, again, it starts Monday, September 9th. It's going to be running all week long, fun, interactive uh, behind the scenes stuff, live stuff, um, some trivia, some 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 fun videos we're putting out, some fun interactive stuff um, that you can get involved with uh, with the actors and some of the editors and a lot of the people that helped out behind the scenes. A lot of fun stuff we have planned for that week. And again, it all starts Monday, September 9th, Falls Fest number two. I love you so much. You're the best. Um, we have. We've had a loaded summer of content dropping. We just dropped uh, Potato Town Season 2 Brawl. Um, obviously, the Falls Chronicles have been rolling on throughout the summer. Um, we had the Fidgy Files of Chapter 5 drop back in July. Um, chapter 6 will be coming very soon. Um, I love you. You're the best. Thank you for watching all the content we're putting out and uh, subscribing and liking and sharing. Um, we'll be chatting very soon. I love you. And again, remember Falls Fest number 2 coming at you starting Monday, September 9th. Facebook.com slash the Falls Series. And as always, please subscribe to YouTube.com slash the fall series.